everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you're gonna be seeing what I've packed for my trip to Vegas. So me and Sam are going to Las Vegas to surprise my stepdad. Basically, my mom has surprised my stepdad with a trip to Las Vegas for his 50th birthday. And yeah, they flew out yesterday, which was Sunday the 19th. And we are flying out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, the 21st so yeah we are going out there we're gonna surprise him he has no clue my mum has my mum knows obviously but yeah we're gonna go out there surprise him he has no idea obviously as well i'm vlogging it all i'm vlogging the whole surprise as one video obviously doing this as a video and then i'm gonna be also doing vlogs of our time in las vegas never ever been to las vegas before at all um neither sam so yeah, I'm so excited. I can't believe we fly tomorrow. It is currently like 12 a.m. and we've just dropped Cleo off at Sam's mum's. So she is there for the next few days. We're not going for a week, we're going for four nights, five days. So just enough time. Everyone says that you don't need a week in Vegas. Everyone says you just need four days is like enough. Um, but yeah, that's how long we're going for. So this is what I've packed in my case. I am gonna put a disclaimer out there as well though that I did have a lot less than this and then we weighed my suitcase and it was only weighing 14 kilos and we've got an allowance of 23 kilos each. Obviously I know that we don't need to fill up to 23 kilos but I was being really, really like tight on what I was taking so I just thought, you know what, I'm actually gonna add those extra outfits that I want because I'm so indecisive and I know I'll change my mind when it comes to the night. And also, with the weather there is changing so much, like it's so up and down, like one day it's raining, the next day it's really warm. So obviously I don't know what the weather's gonna be like at all when we're there, cause it will just change, it just changes so much. So yeah, I've packed outfits for nighttime, I've packed outfits for daytime, and obviously the different weathers as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on and show you what I have packed. If you do enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I am gonna be vlogging obviously all of Las Vegas, so if you love travel vlogs and things like that, then yeah, make sure you do subscribe, because I know myself that I love watching travel vlogs, so yeah. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. And yeah, let's just get on into the video. I did a pack with me when I went to Tenerife and I just prefer doing it this way because I am such a stress head. So I have already packed my suitcase. I already know what I'm taking. So I'm just gonna show you what is in my case basically. If I do like pack a pack with me video, like I just know I'd get so stressed out and I'd be filming clips that were just pointless because I put things in, take things out. To be fair, this time I, I kind of knew what I wanted to take, so yeah. So let me show you my suitcase. So here is my suitcase, obviously you've got this side, this is filled with all my clothes and then this side is like underwear, makeup, um, jackets and shoes and things. So yeah, this is basically that. Sam's case is there. Sam's case has got a lot of room in it as well. So I think my makeup bag is going to go in his case just to even out the way. And then we are going to mix and match our clothes as well. But obviously it's just so much easier to show you it this way because this is all my stuff that I'm taking. Um, but yeah, when we do go away, we always mix and match because if one case goes missing, then you're always sorted. So that is one tip that I definitely recommend doing. I think the easiest angle to do it is this angle. So then I can just hold my things up, show you... Um, and then put them back in my suitcase basically. So I'm gonna start on this side with all of my clothes. Please excuse the mess on the rail over there. Obviously Sam's been packing. This is Sam's like clothing rail here because obviously I've got my dressing room. Um, but Sam's been packing so obviously whenever we pack, it's a mess and I'm sure it's a mess in your house too when you pack because you just get everything out, you try everything on and yeah. It just goes a bit crazy. Now getting these clothes out of my suitcase, I feel still feel like I don't have enough, but I have plenty, if you get what I mean. Like, I just always feel like I could take more. Obviously, everyone could always take more. But, yeah, let's start off with this pile. So, these are dresses, basically, like outfits. So, I'm taking this dress here. 
This can be for nighttime or in the day, whatever I'm feeling. It's just a lightweight, nice dress and I absolutely love it. So this dress is from Shein. I've worn it quite a few times and I'm just obsessed with it. So that is coming with me. Also taking my pretty little thing, jumpsuit just looks like so. It's got a zip down the middle. Um, this will be perfect to throw on in the day if it's chilly. If obviously I just want to cover myself up basically if it's a bit cold um it's just an outfit literally right there isn't it so that is coming with me as well and then last thing in the pile i have got this misguided dress which i am obsessed with it's a jumper dress and it's got like the shirt collar there at the top and then also like the shirt frill at the bottom this is from the jordan lipscomb misguided collection i am obsessed with this thing so this will be perfect at night time if it's that little bit chilly but i want my legs out um so yeah i have i'm taking this with me as well next pile is all of my like leggings and bottoms in here i have got my denim shorts I absolutely love these denim shorts. These are from Shein. I literally swear by them. I wear them all the time. They're the only denim shorts that like, I like to wear and I feel like suit me. So they are coming with me. I have got one pair of black cycling shorts just from Primark because these are so comfy and I know I can wear them with my big baggy t-shirts and then obviously put a zipper jacket over the, over the top and then if I get hot, I can just take the zipper jacket off. So just such an easy outfit i then have these flare bershka wet look trousers just look like so these are some of my favorite these are going to be perfect for night time as well um i've got like some really cute little crop tops to wear with them or even my corsets and things so yeah these are coming with obviously i'm not going to be wearing all of these outfits or all of these clothes but it's just nice to have a choice especially because we don't know how like hot it's going to be or how cool it's going to be so it's always nice to just have the option there to choose from i have then got some just normal wet look leggings because these are going with a top that I have planned like an outfit for. So yeah, these are just Primark wet look leggings and yeah, they're really nice. They fit really nicely as well. I have then got a pair of Alphalete sport leggings because I thought, well, these are going to be perfect for like traveling home in. They're super comfy um, and they've got like little pockets in the side for your phone. So yeah, they are going to be like a slouchy outfit. I could even wear them obviously in the day walking around Las Vegas if it is cold. Um, then it's just another option to wear. But these were a thought of like coming home in them. So that is that. Lastly, I've got these grey cargos which are from Shein. Absolutely love them. They just look like so. They're such a nice oversized fit. So I am absolutely obsessed with them. I've, I had like since moving here, I lost them. For ages and I didn't have a clue where they were looked in my wardrobe back home because I still have got some clothes in there because I've got that many clothes um but they couldn't I, they weren't in there at all and I was like oh my gosh where on earth could they be and anyway it turns out when me and Sam were just looking through drawers earlier I found them they were in one of his drawers god knows how they were in one of his drawers but yeah they turned out to be in one of his so they are definitely coming with me because I have been dying to wear them again. Next, I will show you my little top section, crop tops and like oversized tops. Firstly, I have got this little Colorado top, which is really, really cute. And I've paired this as an outfit with a skirt. So that will probably be like an outfit picture. Um, it's definitely an outfit for if it's a little bit warmer or if I'm feeling brave, basically. So yeah, that is my first little crop top. I then have these two oversized tops here, which I'm gonna wear with cycling shorts. So they're just these couture. Um, I think that's how you say it, isn't it? I used to call it culture, like culture, but it's couture, I think, the couture club. Um, I used to call it the culture club, <laughs> but I don't know what the right way to say it is. So it's just this plain gray one. And then I'm also taking this one too, which is just looks like this. It's more of a party in the back type of top. And then we've just got a random bunch of like little crop tops that I could wear with 
the leggings I can wear with my cargoes. So I've just got this one here from Primark. It's just a like low scoop one at the front. Just looks like so. I've then got this one from Primark, which has still got the tag on it. This one I thought could go with one of my long skirts that I've got to show you as well as an outfit. Um, I've then got this, which is just like a little Bershka roller. Is it Bershka? Oh no, actually, it's Stradivarius, I think. This one? Yeah, I think it's Stradivarius. But yeah, it's so comfy and nice. It's just that little khaki one. That would also look nice with cargoes. This one, which I planned with my cargoes too. It's just got like a little pop of orange. This one, which is the exact same as the pink one, just in white. And then lastly, I have got this black one with cute little melted smiley faces on it. And that is from Shein as well. Then here, I'm just also packing this khaki Love to Lounge set, which is from Primark. I'm obsessed with these. I have not worn any of my sets yet and I've got like multiple pairs but I've been saving them, so I'm taking one to Vegas with me. They'll mainly be for my summer holiday, um, which is in June, but yeah, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to take take a set away with me now, and I might wear it, I might not. I might just wear it in the room. I've then just got this oversized top here. It's actually one of Sam's, um, but I'm literally going to use this to sleep in, so this is going to be my pyjama top. I love an oversized t-shirt for bed. It is basically what I sleep in all the time. Um, so yeah, oversized t-shirt for night time. And I've also got my pink corset top from Pretty Little Thing, which I thought I could wear with my flared wet look trousers. I've got this bodysuit here, which I thought would be really, really cute with my denim shorts. So it just looks like so. This is also from Primark. And then lastly for tops, I have got this one, which is from Shein, and I thought... This as an outfit one night, maybe going to a casino, would look so nice with just my wet look leggings. So it just looks like so. It's like a really nice, smart top. And yeah, I love it. I only worn it once, so I really wanted to wear it again. And I think for Las Vegas at night time, it would be perfect. Especially if it's like a little bit cooler at night. Then we have got my skirts. So here I have got this like midi skirt which is beautiful and I haven't worn it yet. I absolutely love it. I think this with like one of those little white crop tops will look beautiful. It's just like one of those ones that ruche on the side. Um, obviously wear it with trainers, some white trainers and I think it would look so nice. I have got this little cargo skirt which I pair with that Colorado like little crop top because the colour really matches i love this skirt so much it is super cute i love the little pocket details on it of course i've got to take my tennis skirts because i just bloody love my tennis skirts so much so if i'm gonna wear any skirts in the day it'll definitely be my tennis skirts so i have got my black tennis slashinger skirt and obviously my white one too um i probably won't wear both but i like to have the option there just in case i'm feeling the white or the black one day that's if i wear skirts at all because it might just be too cold but like i say you just never know and i've got the room here to pack more so that is why i'm packing more and then my last skirt is just this little cargo white one from primark i love it so much you'd never think that this was from primark i wore it in the summer last year when i went on like a day drinks and I just I was obsessed with the outfit so yeah last thing that goes in this side I have just got my denim jacket which will be obviously for daytime or the evenings just to throw on in case it's a little bit chilly so yeah just my little denim jacket which is from pretty little thing I'm also taking my little pink blazer which is also from pretty little thing um, I just love this. I love this with like my, one of those little white crop tops underneath and then my den denim shorts. I think it's just so nice. So yeah, also taking that. So that is everything in that side done. So now for this side of my suitcase. This is like the more empty side of the suitcase. So this has got like toiletries, underwear, shoes basically in it. So in here, I am taking all of my makeup, but like I said before, this is going to go in Sam's case because obviously it's quite heavy. So I'm just taking my like holy grail makeup pieces in here. I'm not going to show you because there's just no point. So that is my makeup. For bags, I'm going to be taking my Dior saddle bag and then also my 
white bag. So I've got a black and a white bag just to obviously match with my outfits. And then I have actually also got my little see-through bum bag as well to have on front have on the front of me. So um people have recommended to keep like your bags at the front of you at all times because obviously pickpockets and everything like that. So I just thought taking this will be perfect for the daytime. Especially if I don't want to carry around a handbag as well, like making sure that I've always got it on my shoulder or if I'm always keeping an eye on it. At least with a bum bag, it's always on the front of me. I know where it is and I don't really necessarily have to keep an eye on it all the time. So yeah, I'm taking that too. For jackets, I'm also taking this fur one. This is mainly for nighttime, like with my dressier outfits. I just think this will look so nice. Um, so that is why I'm taking this. I'm also taking my zipper jacket just so then I can wear this with like my t-shirts. Um, and it's just easier to zip on and zip off. I am also taking a hoodie as well, but I will be traveling in the hoodie. So for shoes, I'm taking obviously my beloved Crocs. I'm taking my Vivian Westwood Melissa like shoes, slip on shoes. I've then got my Dior Jordans because I just know that these are comfy shoes to walk in. So if my feet do hurt in some of my other shoes, then I've got these to throw on. And then also I'm taking my Alexander McQueen's two. I know that this seems like an excessive amount of shoes, but I'm so indecisive on what to take. And obviously, these are more dressier shoes. So I'd probably only wear these at night time. Whereas these, I won't wear at night time. And I'd probably only wear them in the day. But then, these would go with my cargoes. Um, but maybe not with dresses. Whereas these would go with dresses. So this is this is where, like, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. But I had space in my, in my suitcase. So I just thought, you know what? Why not? Why not take some more shoes that I can pair with my outfits? So yeah, I'm taking my McQueen's as well because, like I say, why the hell not? I have then got in here a tub of gel. I've just depotted it into a little container just to downsize because my pot of gel is so big. It's the Eco Gel. So it comes in such a massive pot and I don't need to take that whole thing. Also got my hairbrush. Oh my gosh, I've got, actually got another pair of shoes. Forgot. I'm also taking my little gladiator shoes as well. These are so comfy. If I want to wear like these with a dress at night, then I can. Um, yeah, I absolutely love these things. So I've got one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes. Six plus the ones I'm wearing. Oh my God. That's more than I took like on a 10 day holiday. I can't believe I'm taking so many shoes. But because I know that we're going to be walking so much because it's Las Vegas, I just feel like I need multiple pairs of shoes just in case my feet kill. I then got this bag here full of my socks, my underwear and bras and my bikini and swimming costume. Um, obviously just in case I want to go swimming, which I really do want to do. So yeah, that is all in here. I love these sheen bags for storing things like this and keeping them all together. I then got this little pouch here, which is just the Filter by Molly May scrunchy pouch and I've just put all of my jewellery and some hair bubbles and hair clips in there. Lastly I have got my toiletry bag so in here I have got cotton pads, my cellar water, my perfume, deodorant, dry shampoo, um, did I say shampoo? I've got my shampoo in there, what else? My hairbrushes, straightener, oat cleansing balm, so yeah just all of my like toiletries basically. So that is my pack with me all done. That is everything that I'm taking to Las Vegas. I know it might seem excessive for f four nights, five days, but like I say, I wouldn't be taking this much if I didn't have the allowance, obviously. Um, but me and Sam just thought, you know what? Both of our suitcases were well under the weight and we were just like, you know what, what the hell? Let's just take what we want to take don't worry about like overpacking because we had the space in it anyway so that is what we've done we've took multiple outfits because i like i say i know how indecisive i am i have also got my hand luggage bag obviously which is just this one here it's just an alphalete backpack i have got my macbook in there switches my book um, and then charges and things in there as well. So that is everything and obviously passports dollars and things So yeah, that is everything that's in there. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna close this off now because I really need to get to sleep It is like quarter to one in the morning and we need to be up at half five 
and Sam's probably not gonna be happy with me because obviously I said I needed to film this video. So yeah, we need to get to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Make sure you watch out for them because they will be the Las Vegas vlogs. Super excited to be vlogging it for you guys and obviously just have memories on my channel as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok and I will see you next time for a brand new video. Bye.